And uh, the Brampton Wolves and the Vancouver Knights in that battle, the Vancouver Knights picking up two points. So the Wolves have had their first loss of the GT20 Canada this morning in uh, the first game. Vancouver Knights picking up another two points. They looked impressive. And uh, both those sides have qualified now for the playoffs, of course. And uh, they did it just two down, the Vancouver Knights, and just over 15 overs. So to me, that is more of an indication of how good this surface is, not the 150 that was put on, the 130, sorry, that was put on the board. I couldn't agree more if the Tigers play well today and when they will also go up and qualify. So this is a really important game as far as the Tigers in particular are concerned. Now the toss. We had Dean Jones out there early today with the toss. There's the uh, two captains, Juvraj Singh won the toss. And he was undecided. He said, I'm a bit confused. I don't know what to do. So let's have a look at the teams. There's the uh, the Nationals, also the Tigers. National, Simon? Yeah, well, a uh, couple of changes. Gerard Suri and Chris Green come into the side for Brendan McCullum and for Montfort in uh, today's outfit. They've uh, been uh, heavily reliant on that man at the top, Rodrigo Thomas, 142 runs in the tournament, had a strike rate of 145. Heinrich Klaassen with 136 runs in the tournament as well. And Salman Nazar has been uh, relatively economical with his left arm spin, so look for him to play a part today as well. For the Tigers, um, any changes? Yeah, just uh, uh, Ali Evans. Ali in. Evans in. Yeah, he's in uh, for Nabib. And uh, Pereira's in there as well. So he's in for uh, Devsic as well. So they're the, uh, the changes. So a couple of sides with two changes today. But there's some uh, key players on the go. You can see George Bailey said of the toss. He wants to see two things improve for his team. He wants to see one of the batsmen go forward and bat deep, which is really important, of course, in T20 cricket. And he said he also, from the bowling point of view, when they get the ball in the hand, they've got to pick up wickets early. Wickets early. That's one thing they haven't done. Oh, it's got past him, and it's gone for four. Big fast bowlers don't like that. That's leg side as well, it's off the pad, and that's going to run away for four leg buys. Extra ball though. Goes for four. That's a fine strike, that went smartly across the turf for a boundary. 11 off the over, two gone, 18 for none. Oh, he's got him. Tempted by the short boundary, walked across, and the furniture has been disturbed. For him, he's gone for 10, it's 19 for 1. <laughs> gone over the top, no sweeper in position, so it's a bit of a chase. It's going to be a bit of uh, tag teamwork. Does it work? No, it doesn't. Couldn't quite get it back. No, not yet. He's due to fire. It's a nice start. Yeah, it is. Just help yourself stuff. Yeah. People forget that. Could be another one. They've actually put the fielder there, and it is. Goes past Mitch McLennigan. That's what you're talking about, Dino. I don't think he's a great starter. That's just a hit me ball. Manhattan, that's amazing. I'm, it's almost like Mumbai as well now, haven't they got? That's a lovely shot inside out for four. Lovely shot indeed. Nicely, well, so far it hasn't happened. Oh, what a catch! I say he snuffled that out of nowhere and he was hit really hard. A contender for the Daffabet catch of the match from Salman Nazar. Oh, he's a smart kid. He has won them a match with bat in hand. And of course, once he takes that cotton ball, why not remind the world who is, took that cotton ball? George Bailey, who could have been the one batting through, is out for 15. And the ball. And that's been cut away. Just will run away for four. Tisara Pereira, first ball, opens his account with a boundary. Still on the park, some of our viewers would have seen just before he went to the break, him getting some treatment for that back of his. Oh, that's gone through. That is not a very smart effort there. Ball in the tournament so far. <laughs> when I mean extras, I'm talking about overstepping and also misfielding. That goes for four. And that's not a good finish to the over. The end of 10, 76 for three. Yeah. We'll just get that through and then go for four. Green will be disappointed with that because he had the field set for it. But oh, just... Green. 165, more than that. Clean him up. Jeremy Gordon had a long chat with Yuvraj Singh at the end of the previous over. Uh, a little bit of a tough time getting his radar right. 
but looking to get that away when it would deserved a little bit more respect I think first ball the over good stuff from Gordon so he's picked up uh, to Sarah Pereira for 17 84 another chance another chance goodness me straight to Mitch McLennigan and now it's Kyle Kutzer we know he can hit the ball hard and that is what Dylan Heliger has just done. It's easy to put away because it seems to be dipping on you most of the occasion. So the contact has to be perfect. And he makes that contact as that ball is just about to pass the front knee. But <laughs> this one's high. It's not gone too far. Will it be in no man's land? It is. In between three fields. Oh, we could have a run out here. Oh, dear. Good hit from uh, Kugelein, and that is just eluding the fielder, goes for four. Desperate runs they need. <laughs> High up in the air, man under it, takes the catch safely, Rodrigo Thomas the man there. It's the all the way out to him, it's the sweeper region, so they will be swirling in the air for just a moment and curving just there. Settles himself. Just not get oh comes back for two. Comes back for two. I reckon it was very good running from Ali Evans. It was his call to come back for a second. Yes, and I think his intent already was to come back for the second. But at the end there, uh, just had to pull out the dive. How close is this? Well, oh, he's made his ground. The dive is what's really saved him in the end. But his intent to pick up the two and get Dutta back on strike has happened. And there's confirmation, not out. Love it. Love it from Mitch McLennan. Coming back for two for sure. Chance at a run out. Hundred Klassen. And that will be a run out. So, Nikhil Dutta will be run out of the final delivery. Very neat by Heinrich Klassen there. Under a little bit of pressure as the batsman comes into the frame now. Well out. And it'll just be the one. And confirmation, out. As uh, they finish off their innings now on 136 for nine. They've really clawed and crept and wobbled this uh, Montreal's Tigers batting lineup to 136 and this is how they've wobbled and crawled and and stumbled and maybe kicked the turf on a few occasions yeah good description uh, Ed Rainsford Kyle Kutzer 26 top score that two of 27 deliveries nobody really got going in the innings Dylan Heliger was the only one who looked good until he was run out prematurely 136 for nine it was all about the slower bowlers look at that combined effort from Lamichane Salman Nazar Chris Green five wickets between them for almost nothing and one of those three spinners is alongside Mike Hazeman I reckon it's Chris Green so crucial for them to stay in the competition yes 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 Rodrigo Thomas what a shot that is goes again skews off the bat and hailing up the first wicket for the Montreal Tigers and he's trying to cover him yeah he didn't get it I know but he moved pretty quickly for a big man got across there pretty quickly high liger and yes, well done, Ali. You get your first one, and they're in the game here. It's got to be the getting top. close to 120 for me. Ah. Been around for a while. Has he beat the man on the boundary? The dive comes out, but it goes for four. Ah. Oh, yeah. There you go. There you go. There's a big wicket. Big, big wicket for them. Now they're in the game. Two quick wickets. He's got an opportunity here at number three trying to make a, an effect this is probably a little bit unlucky it's come off the body he's tried to play the pull shot it's hit his midriff and then it's gone on to the stumps Moses Enrique as he goes for one it is 16 for two oh. Quick single. Oh. just a clean pickup he knows he made a mistake he just had a little picky boo at the wickets before he got the ball there and it just bubbled on him What a shot that is, Heinrich Klaassen, he announces himself, new man at the crease, picks up four. Oh yes, he's now putting on a little bit of a show, is Heinrich Klaassen, 
That is a wonderful shot through the... Karachik! It's a lovely looking shot from Chirag Suri. Inside out, he'll get four for that. Good opportunity for the young man from the UAE. Touch! And this one's got to be four again. Second boundary in the over for Chirag Suri. Oh, that's sweet as. A little bit of that. Chirag Suri says, I'm not going to let him settle. We've seen plenty of this when he's played for the UAE. Now he's got the opportunity for the Toronto Nationals to try and win the game for them. Yeah, make the most of this uh, last over of the batting power play. And he's threaded the gap in the air briefly, but he gets four for it. He's decided he's going to use the power play. Sorry. This one up and over. One bounce, four more. Chirag Suri is turning it on in Brampton. Yeah, brilliant. This one's coming behind. And it's four more. It's the 360. Sets himself early. Got a little bit high on the bat, so it went higher rather than long, but as soon as it pitches on this outfit with that top spin on it, it just races across the turf. Four. And he finishes off with a big six. What a power play, what an over. 22 of that over from Dylan Hedegaard. And two. Growing up, Ryan Fox. Oh, goodness me. Never ending, this is just stunning. This time it's Clarkson. Up and over, is it into the hands? Yeah, it is. Farwad Ahmed changes ends. Farwad Ahmed picks up a wicket. And just as his partnership was building, Heinrich Klaassen hits it straight down the throat. And hold your breaths. Oh, six foot six of them. Not getting over that head in a hurry. Look at that. Arms outstretched. Uh, too easy for the big man. Goes for 20 from 13. 73 for three. Oh dear, forget the back, he's lost the bat and he's not very comfortable at the moment is Yuvraj Singh because he went for an almighty swing, that's not good for a bad back. No, it's not, he looks for that sweep shot and he's really struggling here, Yuvraj, probably, I wouldn't say lucky that the bat didn't go back onto the stumps because he's clearly in pain and, and you're more worried about the pain he's in than losing his wicket, I'm sure. But the bat was thrown behind him, it must have been so close to going to the stumps as well. And the crowd want to see him. It's the wrong end. Oh, it's just gone over top of the stumps, that bat, surely. And I think just milliseconds before the bat left his hand is when he felt the twinge. See it in his eyes. He just felt it there. Before the bat landed. He's down like a WWF wrestler. It's just been knocked out. Yeah, 14 in the first game. Just struggled a little bit to get his timing going in the first game, but then 35 from 21, 45 from 26, and 51 from 22. Yuvraj doesn't come back. Yeah, yeah. Behind point four. That'll help. That'll help Dean Jones. Hello, Simon. Hello, everyone. I tell you what, no one's gone home. No, and again, that'll be four more. Needed a dive, needed it instantly from George Bailey. Just second-guessed himself and then couldn't go for it. Good stuff. Oh, what about that? Four more. Goodness me. What a piece of timing from Ravinder Pal. I wonder if he got his foot on it and hit the stumps, would he be run out? Oh, starts with a wide kugel line in his last over. He's had a good day, good day so far. Three overs... Uh, one for 13, and it's untidy. Swung away, high and handsome over top of the sweets away to our right. The batsman's left for six. Surely this time, surely this time, big man, comfortable. Comfortable under that, the big lad, Ali Evans. So, as yes, the things change, Ravinder Pal Singh goes for 15. Oh, falling. Wow, what a good sound off the bat that made. That's over the top of the... Uh, Three games to come in the second round. Oh dear, did he just go bananas there? Or is it just 
a little flutter. Is he looking worried? Five. Very good. Nicely bowled. McClendigan is one of those guys who uh, is not going to look to hit down the ground and play solidly down the ground. McClendigan goes for a couple. 132 for six. A little sweep, and that'll be enough. Salman Nazar, the little man, hits the winning runs. And there's Chirag Suri, acknowledges the captain and says, can we have a smile now, please? And Chris Green is all smiles. Suri played nicer, he's 52. He was disappointed when he got out, he's not disappointed now. I just saw that response to the cat for Mark, uh, Chris Green, rather, 30. And a couple of wickets, I'll be pleased with this. 137 for six. That's the little uh, figure of Yuvraj Singh, retired herd after two deliveries, but it was Chirag Suri who played brilliantly. 52 of 37, he would have liked to have stayed till the end. He was done in by Tisara Pereira. Heinrich Klaassen played well for his 20, but it was finished off by Chris Green. 30 of 29 deliveries. Yeah, we'll get an explanation for Pablo's later on, but uh, <laughs> Nikhil Datta not among the wickets there. It was uh, Ali Evans bowled well, as did Fawad Ahmed for his four overs, picked up those two wickets, but uh, no other dramas other than that. A low-scoring day, wasn't it? Overall, a low-scoring day, but I'll tell you what uh, I liked was the fact that the spinners got their teeth into this, uh, this day today. But uh, the spinners involved in the first game, the spinners involved again in this one. And of course, uh, Green was terrific with the ball and uh, certainly caused some damage with the bat as well. So good stuff as the Nationals got up by four wickets and got the two points. Yes, that's been their story in the tournament so far. Two narrow victories and each of the teams will play one match each in round two. And that will be determined by the standings thus far. Brampton v Edmonton. Vancouver v Winnipeg and the Montreal Tigers will play the same team they played today, the Toronto Nationals.